Mark, many commiserations. I'm sure you have a mixture of pride in what you've seen tonight, but disappointment as well. Yeah, I think, Rich, when you put that much you know, uh, effort into the game as well, you know, and it certainly wasn't, you know, there's times in the game, yeah, of course, you get your shape right and you, you, you soak a pressure, you let them have the ball at times, which we did, and that was part of our game plan. But certainly there's long periods in the game where we took the game to them, played some really good stuff to every man, every individual out there, and it's, it's difficult to be, because, you know, to finish it and have nothing to show for all that effort is, is really galling, you know, but um, listen, we'll, we'll take massive positives out of the game. What we've got to do now is make sure you know, the, please God, all the memories of, of the game we had here against Wigan have gone. Take those positives into the remaining games of the season and get as many points as we can. Just to, you know, it's nice having nice things said about you, but if you can hang your hat on a on a top half, top ten, maybe even above finish, then then it underlines what people are saying. So we've got to make sure we, we recover physically, mentally for Saturday. We we'll make sure we again we pick up points in every game we play tonight to go a goal down quite early on probably a bit of a disappointing goal to concede as well but the team reacted well to it and they say kind of deserve to kind of go the distance if you like against a, a team that are fighting for a Champions League space of all things yeah yeah and we, listen we, that's a disappointing thing because we, we talk a lot and we work a lot on defending crosses and most of the time you know since I've been here we've done really well so to concede two from crosses that you know I've seen them again in the dressing room they could have been they could have been, both been stopped at different times it happens, I suppose, you know, sometimes the occasion. Certainly, I think the, the occasion for us, if you like, probably caught us a bit cold starting off. But um, So we're usually better than that, but better than that, you know. But the turnaround, after that disappointment, I'm sure, you know, a lot of people would have thought, well, you know, a team like Sheffield, who've done so well this season, will now go and run all over us. Well, they didn't, far from it, you know. And, I, you know, I think one or two refereeing decisions might have gone our way as well. I have to say that. I seem to be saying that most games, most weeks, but you know we've got to forget about that. We've got to now we wipe ourselves down and, and move on because it's it's. I said to the guys afterwards, it's as important the game Saturday as it was tonight. This FA Cup run too. We've had two games against Blackpool, two against Cardiff, and the one tonight. Um, it's been a, it's been quite a journey, really, hasn't it? In some senses. Yeah, a lot of games, a lot of games played, but again, I, I, no, make no apologies for the fact that you know our fans, our fans deserve it. Every 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 fan likes to see a cup run for their team as well and you know I wanted them to go away tonight with, with a smile on their faces because we'd won the game well I, I hope they can go away with if not a smile because we lost and certainly feel a little bit of pride in their team more pride than they had last week you mentioned already we're moving on quickly because we've got at the end of the league season which is going to be a full concentration now and it starts against a team like Birmingham who are in a pretty good vein of form aren't they yeah, and that's the thing. That's the thing. You know, it's very easy to to even go into Saturday's game and patting yourself on the back and still looking back over your shoulder and and sort of saying to yourself, you know, we're a good side. Again, we've got to go and prove it Saturday. You know, I keep saying that. That's that's the hardest thing in this league, as well as the physical stuff, is the mental stuff. You know, making sure as an individual and as a team, we're ready to go again and go again. That's why the likes of Sheffield have done what they've done over the last two years because they've got that mental strength to go again and go again, and that's what we've got to get. And then. Yeah, this, this Saturday too, the last couple of games, really strong performances. So we take that into, well, yeah, first and foremost Saturday, but the rest of the season it will be a, hopefully a strong end and, and see where we can finish. Yeah, and, and, and it creates that as well, competition for places. You know, lads on the bench chomping at the bit to get on the field as well. So that that'll be can only be a positive for us. So yeah, the same, we'll, we'll lick our wounds tonight, we will Rich, as a, as a club. But at the, same side, we, at the same time, we can have a sense of pride that you know, we, we put on a good showing, but... I want to try and get this club instead of just people talking or putting a good showing on. We want to get results behind us. So that's that's the ultimate aim, and we're all working towards that.